Hey guys, welcome back to Automation eLearn. I'm your friend Suresh Dube, and in this video, I will walk you through the step by step process to create a new GitHub account and will explain how to create a private repository. So, by the end of this video, you will have clear understanding about creating a new GitHub account and creating a private repository on GitHub. So, guys, before moving ahead, let me explain why a private repository is very useful and you should know the details and its uses so this is one of the important topic that we all should understand and that is the reason i am covering this today having a private repository is very useful if we are working with a closed group and want to allow selected members to access the repository and its content so if you are working on something where you want to work it privately like you don't want to share your work with anyone else or you want to share it with the selected members then these are the scenarios where you should have a private repository many developers want to use a private repository to apply for a job or work on the side projects or they give a try something out in a private before releasing it to public so there are many scenarios where you can make use of private repository it's very useful for both students and working professionals as well you can have private repository on github for free you don't need to pay anything and uh, instead of having instead of storing all your files and other study materials or your side project on your local laptop you can use this private repository to upload all your documents on github directly there no one else can see your stuff because it's a private repository so these are the few reasons why we should use private repository and this is what we are going to discuss in this video today so what exactly do we need to have a private repository on github so we just need to have a github account and that is also free we don't need to pay anything and uh, it's free for lifetime so creating a github account is also free for lifetime and uh, having a private repository is also free for lifetime let's quickly understand the steps to create a new github account and after that we will understand step by step details to have a private repository creating a github account is very simple and straightforward process guys so you need to head over to github.com so github.com is the website where we have to navigate and uh, you need to click on this sign up button here you need to provide your valid email id just for the demo let me give my automation elearn id and click on continue next you need to create a password so you need to make sure that your password is strong enough because if your password is weak then this continue button will not be enabled click on continue and uh, here need to give a username which should be unique so i am taking automation elearn demo and uh, here you can see this is available and uh, button is also green so we can continue here github is asking for your consent to receive the product updates and the announcement so if you want to receive such updates you can type yes why or no so let's type why continue here we have to solve few puzzles to verify that we are human so click on start puzzle and here we have to pick a spiral galaxy out of these six images so this is just to verify that you are not a automated system you are a human who is trying to create an account and one more time and yeah it verified and now click on create account so you are almost done we send a launch code to this gmail id so that is the reason you need to give a valid gmail id so that you can receive the launch code and here you need to enter that launch code and then your account will be 
ready for use. So once you verify your account, you can log into GitHub using the same email ID and the password that you have given while creating your account. So this is the overview page that you should be seeing. And uh, here we have different section. We can have repositories, project, packages, etc. And from this option, you can edit your profile. So you can click here and you can update your name, bio, and you can add all the details accordingly. This plus option is where you can create anything new. Like, like from here, you can create a new repository. You can import any existing repository. You can have a gist. You can create a new organization and project as well. So these were the simple steps to create a new account on GitHub. You just need to have a valid email ID so that you can receive a code. And uh, once you activate, you will get all these options on GitHub. So why we had created a GitHub account? Because we wanted to have a private repository. So let's understand the step by step detail on how to create a private repository. So as I mentioned earlier, here we have plus option from where you can create a new repository and many other stuff also. So my purpose is to create a private repository. So click on new repo. And this is the page where we are creating a new repository. And uh, this is the account by which I logged in. And here we have to give name of the repository. For example, automation elearn demo. And this repo name is available. So we can move ahead. And uh, here you can also give description as per your need. And down the line, we have two options public and private. So public means anyone on the internet can see this repository, but you can definitely choose who should be committing to your repository. Anyone on the GitHub, anyone on the internet can see the content, can visit the files and the structure. But the people you choose, they will be only able to make a commits on this, on your repository. Having a private repository means you can choose who should see and who should commit to this repository. So that is the difference between public and private. In public, anyone can see. In private, no one can see unless you grant some permission. And in both the cases, either public or private, you can select who should be committing to your repo. So here I'm going to select private. And uh, there are many other options by default that we are getting. Like if you want to have a readme file, you can select this. Or uh, there are many uh, git ignore templates also. So GitHub is just giving you an option in case if you want. So if you need, you can choose. You can also select the license. Like we have many licenses available here like JNU or Apache license. So as per your need, if it is applicable, you can choose. Here we are getting a message. This will set main as a default branch. So once we create a repo, like we are creating here automation e-learn demo. So at least it should have one main branch. One branch should be available inside that repository. So main this is the name of the branch main is the name of the branch which is going to be present inside this repository. If you want to change its name, you can use this option to update the name of the default branch. And at the end, we are getting a warning like you are creating a private repository in your personal account. So this is just a message to ensure like we are creating whatever we wanted to create and uh, click on create repository. This is my repo page. So here you can see this is my account Suresh Dubey and this is the name of the repository that we have just created. And here we are seeing a private tag. It means this repository is private. And in the page URL also you can see we have the same details like github.com this is my account and this is the name of the repository so just because this is a private repository if we will share this url with anyone they cannot access the repository 
this is only visible if you are logged in using this id the id which you used to create this repository currently this is created under suresh dubey account so if i log in to suresh dubey account then only i can see this repo because this is private let me show you so let me browse this url from normal browser window github.com suresh dubey automation e learn demo and if i'll hit enter then see it's throwing 404 and here we are getting an option like you can sign in or you can sign up so if you are not logged in then you cannot access your private repository whereas if you have a public repository for example if i'll go to my account and uh, list of repositories so here we have one public repository called git reset and this is public and if i'll copy this url and go to normal window and i can access this repository because this is public repo without logging into github so here i have not logged in but still i can see git reset repository because this is public so that is the difference between public repository and private repository that's why in the beginning of this video i have mentioned like having a private repository is like giving you a secure space where you can work on your private project or you can put your study materials over there and you can choose who should be seeing that who should be committing to that repository if you will not provide uh, access to anyone then no one else can access your private repository that we saw here we are getting 404 so as i mentioned earlier having a private repository is very useful if we are working on a closed group and wanted to allow selected members to access the repository and files so as i mentioned you can choose who should be seeing this repository and who can commit who can make changes to to the content that you have inside your repository inside your private repository and it's very useful to store your practice code files or any other study materials and that is the reason it's very useful for students and working professional as well so guys this is just the starting point of your journey on github it's going to be very interesting and we will learn many amazing features in upcoming videos so in my next video i'll explain the step-by-step -step process to upload your project on the github so we will have one repository just like this and we will understand how we can upload the files or any other content inside a repository on github and also we will understand like having a private repository is the thing that we understood in this video but what if i want to give access to someone one of my close friend i want to allow him to see and commit my private repository so that will also i will explain in my upcoming video that's all for this video guys i hope it was useful you understood how to create a account on github and how to create a private repository and its uses its benefit and uh, on top of it both are free you can have your github account for free and you can have a private repository for free earlier having a private repository on github was not allowed it was not possible with the free account but now it's possible and uh, we can have uh, n number of private repositories on github for free so feel free to share your thought on this and if you like the content and the topics i'm sharing on this channel please subscribe to the channel to learn many other concepts to upskill yourself in automation and the development and uh, share this with your friends thank you for running this one thank you